thesis was on uh, cross-cultural comparisons of adolescent suicide. And I remember rushing into my advisor's office because I came across a um, news article of how a student at another Ivy League institution um, had uh, attempted suicide and that particular story fit into what I was writing on my thesis and as I was talking to her about it I just had to stop and pause like oh my goodness here we are talking about a human being's life and I think from that point on um, I started thinking about okay I'm about to graduate I have a year left so how do I translate everything that I've been learning in classrooms and through books and conversations into something that is going to be purposefully able to um, have an impact on others. Also during my senior year, there was a major event on campus that led to Brown's historical ties to slavery. Uh, there was a decision by the editorial board at the uh, Brown Daily Herald to accept an advertisement from someone who was a proponent against um, reparations. There was just a lot of debate happening inside and outside the classroom. And I remember President Simmons, who had just come on uh, recently, she provided a um, space for she and her administration to have civil conversations so that things wouldn't get out of hand. And that then led to a deeper inquiry into, well, what was the role of Brown University and um, in, uh, during times of slavery. And Brown was a major leader in opening up the academic um, institution's responsibilities for what happened or did not happen back in the day and took on a big leadership role that other universities followed suit on. I assume most major institutions that were around at the time had some involvement or perhaps even significant involvement in the slave trade. Maybe they touched it directly or indirectly, it was just part of the economy at the time. And what I appreciated about Brown was having the courage to inquire and uh, to seek truth because that's the mission uh, that they put on students to uh, be truth seekers and not just the seekers but also tellers. So once the committee in the university I uh, found out the information it came out in a report and um, there was findings that uh, part of the Brown family was involved in um, of the institution of profiting from the institution of slavery, and then there were others that were um, abolitionists combating it. And uh, so that makes for a curious history in and of itself. And <clears throat> I believe what Brown decided to do coming out of this commission's uh, report was to create a center for the study of slavery and justice, to study it historically and then the modern day repercussions, and then um, also to honor um, again, what happened in the past, but link it to what are our responsibilities today um, based on what we've learned of history. My signature Brown moment was probably the time during my undergraduate years when I was at my rock bottom. And, and I remember thinking, I am so glad that I'm at Brown. And I remember one of my professors, her message was, this is just part of the human experience that you're going through. Learn from it, pick yourself up. And that message just stayed with me um, I mean, up until now of, we're all so flawed that we don't have to cave under the pressures of being perfect and excellent in everything that we do. In that moment of total despair, of reaching out and looking around and, uh, and that being welcomed, failure being welcomed, um, not for in and of itself, but because it's seen as part of the process that's necessary to advance to wherever that next step is. 
I love the inverted sock of the gra Brown graduation and the marching through the generations. I remember participating it, uh, in it when I graduated and um, especially I mean, at the beginning we're saying hello and goodbye to the professors and the faculty and administration, but then to be able to um, experience the generations and uh, think ahead to, oh wow, this is what five years and 10 years and 50 years will look like. And then at my 10 year anniversary, I went back and participated as an alum. And it was, it was just one of the most festive and meaningful parts of my experience because I could, when the newly, uh, the new graduates were coming through, I could just see the excitement and hope and just the, the youngness of um, um, coming out into the world is just magical. I think Brown students are happy because ultimately the message that is reinforced through our four years there is to have a strong understanding of our sense of purpose in life and use those four years to figure that out and um, sharpen our sense of identity and uh, why we exist. And I, I think when people find that answer for themselves, it's uh, truth to self and I imagine people are happiest when they are true to themselves and to their community and they don't have to fit into someone else's expectations or mold.